Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Voidal Voidal Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Void Meditation Cults Utter the Tongues of the Dead. Well, Utter the Tongue of the Dead, sorry. But, holy fuck. Awesome, awesome, ritualistic, black death. This is so fucking good. I think it's their best material to date on Hell's Headbangers. Awesome little J card. It's not even a little J card. It's a massive fucking J card for this massive full length that is fucking amazing sounding on cassette. And definitely being able to enjoy this, not worrying about it being eaten by a stereo and not being in my aunt's car and actually being able to take this in. Fuck yeah, this is so goddamn good. Again, thank you, Pat Hopkins, for hooking it up. But uh, this work is dedicated to the memory of the tyrant of black plagues and hellish six-string holocaust. Hail Trigenda. Rest in peace. Void meditation cult, seriously. Some of the gnarliest black death when it comes to the more ritualistic side of things. This is the fucking shit utter the tongue of the dead but today I want to talk about this modern Finnish death metal fucking masterpiece and if you notice behind me I switched up my merciful fate poster with agoraphilia severed monolith poster that came with the vinyl from Misako on Unjo records and dark descent here in the States put out the CD and you could get lucky and sometimes they would have the vinyl on the Dark Descent site. But I went the MSUO route and threw Jesus a bone and just, wow. From the Rural Garden Dallas artwork here, like, just look at this art. Seriously, this was one of those, like, uh, postcards that came with Star Spawn, I think. And I just looked at the artwork and I was like, wow, what the fuck is this? And then I looked up some of their back catalog and I was just like, oh my fucking God, this is awesome Finnish death metal. Like, it seriously like brought me back to, you know, convulse demigod. Like, this is awesome, but then once I heard Severed Monolith, I was like, whoa! First off, you have a member of Crips in the band, so fuck yeah. Also, Nemesis, who does vocals, is such an amazing vocalist. I just love his vocal patterns on this release. They're fucking amazing. On both Side Kill and Side Die, I love when bands do that. Like, I feel like it started with Sarcophago, but... I still like the fact that bands do it and stuff, and it's fucking cool. But, uh, this is just on plain black vinyl, but seriously, like, this is some of the best death metal from last year, and I am not the only person that thinks that. I was reading some reviews online, and a lot of people were being very, very nitpicky about this record, saying how they thought it was gonna be, like, you know, all about outer space and stuff, and like, yeah, there's parts, you know, like some of the song titles are about like outer space, and kind of go off subject, but it doesn't matter, like, the music is so fucking good, so tight, lots of morbid angel, Trey Asgaroff, like, worshipping riffage on here, which is great, because I really did not like the new morbid angel record outside of Trey's guitar playing, even though they had this really thin guitar sound, which I know Morbid Angel's kind of, like, notorious for, which they shouldn't be, because they, I don't know if they used eight or se seven strings on the new album, but I know on, like, Gateways to Annihilation, that was, like, I'm pretty sure a seven string? I, I forget, but it doesn't matter, because these riffs... No pun intended to the new Morbid Angel record. They're just warped out fucking... Kind of reminds me of Brutality, the band. 
and also early Morbid Angel and stuff. It's fucking sick. I really, really love the riffing on here. It's just super sick. And then there's also, like, a little bit of influence from their peers. Like, I can hear some demigod in here, definitely. It's fucking sick. I love Finnish death metal in general. And you can even hear, like, crips in here, but obviously because you have a member of crips in your band but seriously like if you're a fan of crips convulse demigod you are going to love this and if you just love that dark descent record sound of just like you know echo chambering recording and whatnot yeah it has this that like style of recording but oh my god is it perfect it seriously is. I know, I know, I know. I say it all the time. It's fucking grade A death metal. But it really is. Like, seriously. I don't know how to say anything negative remotely about fucking Gorophilia's Sever Monolith. It's just one of those fucking records where you get nine tracks, and the last track is probably the banger of this release. Crushed Under the Weight of God. Oh, fuck. It's just, like... Ah! It's so good. So fucking good. Seriously. It's finished death metal done right. Yeah, there's some Florida influence on here, but it's fucking done, like, in a good way. And it works. This is death metal for fans of death metal. It's as simple as that. If you don't like death metal, this isn't for you. Seriously, it's not. And I don't know what to tell you. I mean, if you're not into death metal, I suggest checking out some Killer Sludge from No Funeral. But, uh, that's a tale for a different day. This is the fucking bee's knees when it comes to modern Finnish death metal alongside of Crips. And, obviously, it makes sense to me because you have a member of Crips in the band. But, this is just so fucking good in every way it could possibly be. I was just looking at the, uh... I forgot what track had the analog synth and bell music, but it is, uh... Eternity, and, um... There's a piano outro as well. This is so fucking sick. I, I really, really love every track on this record it's just probably going to go down as a modern death metal masterpiece 25 years down the road i hope i can hand this to my nephew and be like hey enjoy like i think that would be sick and i also love 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 just how simplistic that is with side kill Side die, plain black vinyl. It'd be nice to have the blue one just because of the art direction and having the blue record, it would all match. But for me, it kind of actually, I feel like it deserves to be on black vinyl. Like, it's just that fucking good. Like, and old school, but at the same time, is fresh. It's just one of those albums that, you know, to me, sticks out above the rest. And, like, to me, it's better than a lot of their peers in the death metal scene in general. Like, the songwriting on here, in comparison to their early material as well, fucking A, it's such a step up for Gorophilia and Sever Monolith. Like I said, this is going to be a modern death metal classic. Dark Descent and Misako Anunjo, seriously, fuck yeah, like, one of, two of the best labels in the game, and just, I can't, you know, praise this record enough, if you're a fan of death metal, you have no excuse not to check this out, unless you only like unique leader records, bands that just play slamming, brutal, death that you know came out in like 2004 but that's a tale for a different day Gorphelia 
Severed Monolith on MSUO and Dark Descent Records. If I would have had this in my possession when I did my year-end video, this probably 98% would have been my album of the year when it came to metal. It's seriously so fucking good. Since this came in the mail, it's been fucking Celtic Frost to Megatheron and Gorephilia. It's just all I've been listening to. Severed Monolith and some of my tapes. Like, I was listening to Void Meditation Cult last night and was like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna play it during this Gorephilia Severed Monolith review. But seriously, look at fucking Raul Gonzalez's artwork. I've heard him, you know, being called the next Seagrave. Fucking dude, he does such a great job when it comes to just, you know, creating these atmospheres of death. Alongside Mark Riddick as well, who I feel is actually, like, the next Seagrave. Like, Gonzalez has his own style and whatnot, and same thing with, like, Giarne. And I can go on and on. I love Jeff Whitehead's artwork. He's been doing a lot of killer stuff. But this record, the tunes, everything on it, this is so fucking good. If you're a fan of Finnish death metal, death metal in general, especially like Convulse, Crips, Demigod, Morbid Angel, Brutality, you're gonna fucking love, love, love Gorephilia, Severed Monolith. You can pick up the CD through Dark Descent Records, vinyl through Misako on Unjo, MSUO, and it's just pure fucking fire. This is a goddamn 11 out of 10. But why not just give it a 10? This goes to 11. But uh, seriously, one of the best death metal records of 2017. Gorephilia, Severed Monolith. Amazing artwork, amazing tunes. Can't praise it enough. And we have been blasting the A-side of Void Meditation Cult's Utter the Tongue of the Dead. Awesome, ritualistic black death on Hell's Headbangers. This is some killer, killer shit, and it sounds sick as fuck on tape. I need to snag this vinyl next time I have some extra cash. But um, I picked up my pre-fest ticket yesterday. Fucking Power Mad, Necrot, Midnight. And then the next day is fucking like Avokin, Horrendous, um, Paul Bearer, Monster Magnet, At the Gates, and Spirit Adrift fucking sick lineup the next day spectral voice all hell summerlands carcass repulsion mayhem yeah it's gonna be a sick three days at the end of march beginning of april i can't fucking wait that's a decibel metal and beer fest at the fillmore in philadelphia but in the meantime, check out some Void Meditation Cult on Hell's Headbangers. And Utter the Tongue of the Dead. This is some awesome, awesome ritualistic fucking black death. And I highly suggest you listen to this during your next ritual. Or just next listening session. It's fucking amazing stuff. Seriously. Very, very sinister sounding, and at the same time, just so on the fucking money for the sound that they were going for. I like, I to me, this is their best material, but yeah, get into some Void Meditation cult. But in the meantime, also Gorephilia from Finland, Severed Monolith. Fuck yeah, and as always, thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Hills! <laughs>